You know how animals sometimes look like people? Do you think this fly looks like Beyonce? Anthony here for D News, and there's kind of a rule in the scientific community. If you discover it, you get to name it. And when between 15 and 25,000 new species are discovered every year, it gets hard to come up with new names. So scientists do what we all do when we can't think of anything clever. They make a pop culture reference. Just this week, paleontologists announced that they discovered a lizard that's been extinct for 40 million years. It was six feet long and about 60 pounds, making it one of the biggest land-dwelling lizards in history. So they named it Barbaturex morris Sony after Jim Morrison. Why? Because he's the Lizard King. Sometimes the celebrity's name is picked because of a particular physical trait the new discovery has. That fly I showed you, that's Scaptia Beyonce. It was discovered in 1981, but not described until 2011. It's mostly known for the large golden base on the rear of its abdomen. It's named after Beyonce because it's bootylicious science jokes. This is the Agra Schwarzenegger. It's a carabid beetle from Costa Rica. It's named after Arnold Schwarzenegger because its middle set of legs look like huge biceps. Carabid beetles are also known for secreting noxious fumes from their abdomen, so the Arnold beetle probably also always smells like he just came from the gym, so it's accurate. Sometimes the name isn't about the looks, but it's about something the celebrity did. David Legg was researching this fossil that's part of the great appendage arthropods that are the ancestors of everything from crabs to centipedes to scorpions, even spiders. And this one has a giant scissor-like claw and roams the sea. So he called it Cutenincella depi, scissor hands dep. I see what you did there. Lady Gaga has a whole genus of ferns named after her. 19 known species of ferns whose names all start with Gaga, including Gaga germinata, obviously, and Gaga monstra parva, which is Latin for little monster. The researchers said they did it because Lady Gaga wore a dress to the Grammys in 2010 that looks like the bisexual reproductive stage of ferns. I do not know if that's a good or a bad thing. Sometimes there's no association at all. Sometimes people just name things for other things that they like. There are 120 species of trapdoor spiders. Genus Aptosticus, which is known for building little homes in the bark crevices of trees with tiny little web doors. And last year, an arachnologist discovered 33 new species and went on a friggin' binge. Aptosticus Stephen Colberry, Aptosticus Angelina Jolie, Aptosticus Bonoe, and Aptosticus Sarlacc for the Sarlacc from Star Wars. It'll go nicely next to the Agathidium Vatery on any entomologist's shelf. Man, I wanna discover something. I would name it after Kanye West or David Tennant. Who would you name something after and what kind of animal would you want named after you? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.